Oh man, yo, yo. I told you we got a hell of a show for you. <laughs> Video number three is from one of my favorite podcasts, Tonight's Conversations, man. Shout out to my if guy. If you didn't peep tonight's conversation, I'm trying to tell you, you got to really follow the podcast. Yo, they, yo, they be getting it in. Yeah, they do. Shout out to my guy, Just Mike the Poet. Yeah. That's my guy since preschool. Yeah. I mean, three, four years old. That's my guy. Shout out to them and the team. Yeah. So, uh, tonight's conversation. Tonight's conversation, is, they say that when <laughs> a woman went on um, the show, I don't know which show it was, mm -hmm. but she said she asked a guy, she asked a guy that she was dating for $50 just to test him, and she got ripped for the shit. Uh, Let's watch. It's this John podcast. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. I've been dating a guy for four years off and on. I asked him for $50 and he told me not to get used to it. I don't want to go in. I want to ask, not is the nigga like going through something? Like, do he need $50 too? Like, are you asking? I don't no. know what he's going through, honestly. I'm triggered. Why are you triggered, Ace? Because she doesn't truly know what he's actually going through. She don't. That man could have gave her the last 50 he had. How the woman that need the fifty dollars? Oh no! Nah. Judging me for barely having it. No, nah. you don't have it at all. Like you just said, you would, you out. would fake up like just to see if this is gonna come through. Oh, I don't need your fifty dollars, but I want to see if you. I really that's what the I'm talking that's about. That's what I'm talking that's about. I'm getting sick of this. Shit. I got a problem with you trying to justify playing with it. I'm not playing. I'm yes, trying to no, I'm sweet dating. sweetheart. You didn't need from him and then you said you didn't know or care about his financial situation you don't because give I a okay mama you playing with him if you want to see if a will do for you put him in position to do for you a who give a about you usually want to make other people's lives easier more pleasant more joyful so if the hadn't put no bread on you yet and got four years out of you you didn't warrant that from the jump. Okay. Don't pick year four to start playing in this the face. Okay. Yeah, get my man. Hey. Yeah, what man? Shout trip. out to oh, Trip. Yeah. Trip. Trip. Oh, he always come too. Shout out to Trip. Yes. Yeah, you know I man. Who yeah. wants to start that one off, man? Listen, I mean, I can go. At the end of the day, it's, it's similar to what the theme of this this episode is. At the end of the day, like he said, why are you playing the game with me? Yeah. You, most men put me in a position that, that I, you need my help. You need my help. Don't tell yep. me you need fifty dollars. Tell me you need you need uh, blinds. Tell me you need uh, uh, a new alternator or something. Like tell me you need that, and then okay, boom. If I can help you, I'm gonna help you. But all this playing games, you need fifty dollars when you don't really need it. It's like that's corny. Because again, mm -hmm. let me know you need me, but don't let me know that. Like don't let me know that you need me, but don't let me know that you needy. It's a difference. If you need me, I can help you. But if every time, every two minutes you need, hey, can I get $50? All right, cool, boom. T tomorrow, um, yeah, my uh, my blinds, they, they broke. I, I need some new blinds. All right, boom, I got you. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, my car is smoking or something. All right, I'm going to come check. The now it's like, hold up. Every two minutes you Every need minutes. some, some like, <laughs> hold on now. Yeah. Like, what you doing? For, how you standing on your own, too? Right. Because I don't want to take on another dependent. I already got three. I need to know that you can hold your own weight. And yeah. in the in the event you need me, I'm there. But I'm not taking on another dependent. If you can't keep, if you can't keep your own head afloat, I'm sorry. I'm not the one for you. I'm not, Again, as men, what we do is a lot of men take on women that are needy to make them feel more secure. Make them feel right. like a man. I right. have to do, Point I blank. have to fix her problem to make me feel more like a man. That's not it. At the end of the day, if this woman is not, she can't be self-sufficient, then if you want a kid, adopt one. But don't <laughs> get a woman. Like, it's just, it's weird how everybody's playing these games and, and for the women, I know that men do a lot of it too. Cool. But in this, just for this, this, this video right here, she was doing too much. Yeah. Yeah. It's just weird. It's very weird to me. I mean, I mean, let me, I'm going to add this before I pass it to T. A man should not have to take care of you if he's not your husband. He should want to take care mm -hmm. of you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when, I, when this when this situation is right and yeah. not in the dating phase either. Like we've we've made that clear. Like relationship. If you're in a relationship, yes, 
you know, we take care of each other. But if you dating, dating is more so that phase of let me get to know you. And, 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 yeah. and for me, in the dating phase, I don't have a problem with helping you. I'm cool. Yeah. But it shouldn't be a major thing. You I, Like if we date and I've known you a couple months, don't come to me with, uh, yeah, I need a new roof. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What the? Wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> now you're looking at me like, well, uh, I mean, if you can't help me, you should have just said that. A roof? <laughs> you need no, a roof for me? thousands. <laughs> 10,000 and up. So to me, it's like if you need little things here and there, and I'm not trying to put a monetary value on it, but to me, it's like if you need a new roof, then as a man, I'm looking at like, well, you wasn't taking care of your house all this time. So you're irresponsible that you need a whole new roof now. Before you got to me, you should have yeah. been took care of that roof. Yeah. But now you need a whole roof. That means you're irresponsible. You make bad decisions. I'm cool. But again, not to make it monetary, but it's just like, hold on. If you need me, need me for something intermediate. Don't need me for the biggest. Oh, I need a car. My car is messed up. I, I'm a, I need a brand new car. Well, guess what, baby? I got this septic key card for you. Yeah, take, yeah, <laughs> take that right there. Till you get there. Take I that get, right there. Because yeah. again, I, it's not a car, but it's a solution. I got this septic key card. Go ahead, do your thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, uh, to that video, I mean, I have been on the other end of a woman trying to test me. I remember it was one woman. She came over to the house. Um, she was from like the Baltimore area. She came over to the crib and she had planted a condom what? under my couch and tried to say that she felt up under the couch and found it. Why are you feeling under the couch? Right. I said, man, if you don't get the fuck, you know what? Get the fuck out of my house, man. That's crazy. Get the fuck, because I don't play them games. See, and no is, man should play those games. Yeah. This is my thing. After four years, what is there to test? Four years. You mean tell what me is exactly. there to test? But, T, let this, me ask This it. is what I don't get. She like, could have got a college degree at that time. Four yeah. and a half years. The, the testing part is over with, baby. You playing yourself. T, T, if it took her four years to start to all of a sudden test this man, she feels that means she felt some type way that it he really wasn't to be. Right. Yep. He like, must have started moving on He wasn't on to that something. man that she was looking for. Right. And 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 another thing, ladies, I want y'all to understand that sometimes the way y'all move, us men, we don't think y'all we don't we don't think y'all is um how can I put this uh financially beautiful as you think you are. Us men will spend money on you, but if you ain't financially listen to the words I'm saying financially beauty. I don't care about your physical. Financially mm-hmm. beauty means that I feel like you you warrant me spending my money on you. And a lot of women make bad decisions and they don't see it. And so it's like I'm not going to spend my money on you when you making bad decisions. Okay. Then you you, you got to put us both in the poor house. You knew you were supposed to get an oil change three years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn, now this car smoking. <laughs> he and said jump. three years ago. And now you are like, well, I don't know what's wrong. First of all, Girl, that engine would have tapped out by it's year It's a jiffy two. loop on every other corner. You talking about, I wonder why my car was moving. That whole engine struggling. Yes. You turn the car on, car. <laughs> <laughs> What you talking about? I didn't know what it was. Yeah, this this car dry. <laughs> like, come on. So you was making bad decisions. Now you want? Oh, can you can you get me a? a yeah, but well, men make bad decisions too. Um, I know they do. And I, and and again, anything I say goes for both parties. I'm not I'm not the type of person that just rag on the women. I'm talking about men too. So at the at the at the end of the day, just make sure you like again. A lot of us don't want to spend our money on y'all because y'all be make. You talking about you want? Oh yeah, because I want I want to go take a trip. I want to get flued out, girl. Mm-hmm. What you didn't know is that when I what? came to your house, I saw your Pico bill was thirty two hundred dollars. Oh my god! You Sleep, should, sleeping on a mattress. The only <laughs> trip you should be taking down to is the damn Pico bill to, to pay that damn bill. <laughs> You're tripping. You're making bad decisions. First of all, how the hell do Pico let anybody bill get that high? Hey, oh, hey, 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 I haven't seen Pico bills of seven eight thousand dollars. Oh my god! Yeah, Are you serious? listen. Yeah, and and, and 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 you know who's paying for those bills? Us. Yep, the people, there you go. The people that do pay their bills. Yep, there you go. Chico, I get a, got, I get a me, goddamn shut off notice when my bill reaches $150, $160. Man, I get a shut off. Like, what the fuck? Chico, PGW, PWD, Water Department. My bills is paid, okay? Listen, I know uh, some girl I used to mess with, um, she lived in a house and she had some crazy stuff going on with her family and she moved out and they sent the bill to her new house. Bill was $13,000. Wow. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they ain't shut it off. They just want their money. Some of them times they don't shut it off, but you yeah. gotta tell them. Then you know, but the Pico, the, that's the one thing that they do have now. They have it to where you can actually stop Hell no. it. <laughs> <laughs> Request to turn your services on and off online. You know what? He is such a bad influence. <laughs> he is a bad influence. She gonna drink something tonight. No, y'all. I'm not. She's gonna go home and tear that white man Jeff up. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, where you at? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, 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 let's go to the comments, man. Let's go to the comments. So, first comment from Leroy Jackson. Leroy says this is is an attempt to shame him for not having money on demand for her. And it failed miserably. That's what I'm saying. Like at this at this big age, that lady like she was close to my age. At yep. this big age, I ain't playing no games with you. I might test you in a different way, like to see like again the woman for me is she supportive. I I, mm-hmm. I got three businesses, so I need to know that you supportive and understand like what I'm doing. That's my test. My test is to see like if I'm doing something. Do you, do you even ask what I got going on? How my day was? Stuff like that. But I'm not doing like weird stuff like, okay, let me see if um I take her to Eddie V's <laughs> and she going to give me the Yamins. Like, no, like I'm an adult. Like y'all got to chill with all that. That's what I'm saying. People don't be da- dating with intentionality. What people be having is, is they be having ulterior motives. What can yeah. I get out of this? No, they don't there, be, there there you go. no intentionality. There y'all. you go. So, second comment is from Aaron G. Aaron says, never ever test your partner. In the end, it will always reflect that wasn't poorly even on partner. you. That was my partner. Like, come on. I mean, in her head. It well, was. I mean, if if I'm dating somebody for four years, I'm dating with intention. Right. And my so intention is to make that woman for years, my so what woman What the hell were they doing permanently. anyway? You know like, what be. were they doing? They weren't doing nothing on and off for four and a half years. Move on. Like, yeah. come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 When, you, when you when you first meet somebody, I'm not saying on the first date, but after a, f- a couple months, you should be having a conversation to like, what is what is the what is Where the we per- going? what is the purpose of this? What what is the goal we trying to reach? And I'm not talking about marriage. I'm talking about us two aligning together. What are we trying to accomplish? I'm not saying like it's a business type of thing, but what are we trying to accomplish out of this relationship? Are we trying to get married? Are we trying to move together? Are we trying whatever? That's a conversation you should have early because. If you figure out that your your goals for the relationship are not aligned, then guess what? It's not going to work. All right, thank it's you. It's not going to work. Yep. Keep it moving. It's not but people work. never had those conversations. And then again, you four and a half years in, and you realize like, well, wait, I don't know if you really. Where the fuck am I going? And that's the and the reason why is because you always got people always trying to persuade somebody to think or do what they want them to do. Yeah, and there it, you go. it just never works. There you go. So last comment. Last comment is from son of a king. Um, King says, how do you entertain someone for four years and $50 is a problem? Exactly. There you go. There you go. 50 bucks. I mean, but listen, when she asked to he go. He probably was tired of her. That's probably what it was. She probably, probably was. She probably, probably said, shit, I'll pay you. I'll give you 50 bucks to pay your dumb ass off. Fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. I'd have gave her a check and then and then fucking canceled. I wouldn't have gave shit. her nothing. 